first thing we do when we work on any electrical appliance is to unplug then we'll remove the vent Then we'll give it a shake and see what comes out the bottom. Let's have a look what we've found. We have money, hair clips, a golf tee, screws, 22, 27 pence, quarter of a bit of the We've took out one, two, three screws. Put that top part back. Taking off the back cover now. about one two three four five six seven and access seven. to the heater element thermostat fan remove the screws from around the back here which I've already done there are screws all the way down there there are also screws in all these holes here when you've removed those screws you can then the back cover bit, you can remove that cover and this gives us access to our uh, thermostat the heater element and the fan light itself. Use a paintbrush, you can brush away all the dust before you go any further. All around your various components so you can see what colour wires go on where. And so on continue with the paintbrush and your vacuum cleaner and get all the dust away from all your Place heater element. First of all take a note of what colour leads go on where. Now we can take these connectors off. Now there's only one screw you need to undo which is over this side here. This releases a porcelain block and you can gently, carefully remove the heater element which is a little bit of a wriggle and the heater element then comes out. Which is a bit of a wriggle but it does come out. And there we are. And there's your heater element. And if you look carefully, you'll see that all these heater coils, springs if you like, are all intact. So we can put that back in there. Remember which way around your porcelain connector goes. There's a slot on it. And the rounded parts on the ends of the slot go inside the heater unit frame. Like that and then you can push it back in like that. Okay. If you put it in there you can then slide it over. It's a bit less way to do it. And you have to struggle and the other side like that. There we are. Now we can reconnect our leads. Black one on the bottom right. Blue on the right, middle right, single dark orange, left nearest the machine, and dark orange and orange top left. This is just a machine screw. And that keeps him happy. And, and there's only two there. screws hanging in. There's one there, one at the back, undo those two screws and your thermostat comes out. Pull these blade connectors off here and lift your thermostat out and that's as simple as that. Then you can replace your thermostat and reconnect up the two spade connectors on the top. Uh, this is not an electrical connection, this is just a, uh, well this is an electrical connection in a way, it's to stop interference and build up of static in the tank. But then don't, don't forget to brush the mock out of the cover before you replace it. Yeah. You've cleaned it out, and then put all your screws back in, all the way down, all these here, and you 
replacing these screws on the side you may have to push that in to line them up once you've replaced it once you've replaced all these screws if that's all you wanted to do was either your thermostats or your heater elements then at this point now having replaced all the screws or nearly have replaced them all uh, your job would be now finished so there we are here's our tumble dryer now on test Uh, one thing I will mention on these is don't test them without the lid on. The lid actually is integral, is important, it keeps the case in shape and uh, if you test it without the lid on the casing goes slightly out of shape and you can cause problems with your front drum felt. Okay, well it just remains now to give it a good clean up and there we are. Now there's your uh, Hot Point Aquarius TL61 tumble dryer. How to replace the um, heater elements or the thermostats. I hope this video has been some use to you and you'll give it a thumbs up. Just click on that little thumbs up icon and subscribe to this channel. If you want to leave a comment then you'll just have to uh, uh, log into your account and leave a comment and uh, I will publish it. Provided it's civil. Okay? Okay, well, thanks for visiting Accordion Cafe and thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.